Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see with what we've learned so far if we can design a circuit to accomplish this. We want the output voltage to be 3 times voltage 2 minus 5 times voltage 1. Of course there's various ways in which we can do that, but let's try this way. Let's start out with 3 times voltage 2. What we're going to do is have our initial circuit like this, starting with an operational amplifier. We're going to have an input voltage, let's call this V2. And V2 is going to go through a resistor, let's call it R2. And here's our output voltage. We need to have a connection to ground, like this. And there's our ground connection to the non-inverting terminal. And then we have to have a feedback resistor. Let's call this R sub F, and let's call it R sub F. F2. Here's our output voltage. And now we can say, based upon this circuit, we can say that the up and let's call it output voltage, uh, let's call it 2, based upon this V2 input. So what we can say now is that the output voltage, V2, is equal to the negative, because we're connecting here to the inverting terminal, times the ratio of RF2 divided by R2 times the voltage input, which is V2. Now, if V2, let's see, we want that to be 3. We want this ratio to be 3. So that means we need to make this maybe into a 30 kilo ohm resistor and make this into a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So in other words, VO2 is equal to the negative of the 30 kilo ohm resistor divided by a 10 kilo ohm resistor times V2, which means we get VO2 to be equal to minus 3 times V2. Notice this is minus 3 times V2, and ultimately we want a plus 3 V2. Well, we can do that by feeding that into a second amplifier, and again, inverting the signal, and then adding that or summing it with the input from V1. The way we can do that is if we feed in a V1 and we put it on an inverting amplifier, then we can inverse the V1 to a negative V1 and have a ratio of 5 to 1 for the, um, for the V1 there. All right, so we're going to feed this signal into a second operational amplifier. There we go. And sum that with another input. We're going to sum that with the V1 input through a resistor. Let's call this R1. And here we're going to feed that through Another resistor here, let's call this R2, and then we plug that, we sum that together into an operational amplifier like this. This is the inverting terminal, the non-inverting terminal. This is connected to ground, like this. And now we have the output voltage, V output. This now needs to be three times V2 minus five times V1. And then we have to have the feedback resistor like this. This is R sub F, and let's call RF1 there. This one is RF2. All right, we need to have five times V1, and we need the negative. The negative comes from having connected this to the inverting terminal. The 5 to 1 ratio can come in by making RF1 five times R1. So. We can then say that V output is going to be the negative of the ratio of RF1. And let's reverse the order because I want this first right here. Let's do it like this. Um, yeah, it will be the ratio of RF1 to R2 multiplied times VO2. So we're feeding this voltage into this connection right here. And we add that to the ratio of RF1 to this resistor, R1, times this voltage input, V1. Since we already have VO2, the negative of 3 times V2, right here, all we need to do is just simply change the sign here. We want to change this to a positive. That means we want this ratio to be 1 to 1. Hmm. Which means if this is, if we make this a 50, kilo ohm resistor, then this has to be a 50 kilo ohm resistor. So this becomes V output is equal to the negative of 50 kilo ohm resistor divided by a 50 kilo ohm resistor 
times VO2. VO2 was going to be equal to minus 3V2, minus 3V2, like that, plus RF1 is going to be a 50 kilo ohm resistor. But R1, since we want to have a 5 to 1 gain here, we need this to be a 10 kilo ohm resistor. This will increase the gain 5 to 1 over the input of V1, and we want 5 V1. And since we're connecting the connection to the negative or the inverting terminal, we'll then, we'll then reverse the sign and make that into a negative voltage. And this is then times V1. And therefore, V output is going to be equal to minus 1 times a minus 3 voltage. That makes a positive 3 volt 2. And the minus times this becomes minus 5 times V1. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And therefore, this circuit will give us the output that we're looking for. We have a V2 input, so we'll connect this to a 3 to 1 amplifier. We'll invert the signal by connecting to the negative terminal or the inverting terminal. This is then fed to a second op amp. We'll connect to the negative terminal again, and we'll make this ratio 1 to 1 so that all it does is flip the sign from minus 3 volt 2 to a plus 3 volt 2. And then we'll have a 5 to 1 ratio to take V1 and amplify it to a 5 to 1 ratio. And we want this to be negative, so we'll connect that to the negative terminal. And we get a negative 5 to 1 times V1 for minus 5 V1. And that's one way in which we can design a circuit using two operational amplifiers to get the output exactly the way it was asked for. And that's how it's done. At least one method of how it's done.